All right, welcome back to our Chutes and Ladders project where we're focusing on using 2D arrays and some basic um, t graphics in Java. All right, so we're going to make a position class so that we can know the position of our players on the board. So we're going to create a new file and say public uh, class position. And we'll need some fields, constructor, assessors, and mutators. OK, well, we know that our 2D array has 100 positions in it. So we'll need a variable to hold what position the person is on, on the board. So we'll say int p is equal to 0, because they're going to start at position 0 on the board. If we look at the board here, we see that it starts at position 1 and goes to 100. So when we create a new character, we their position is going to be off the board until they roll the first, spin the dial or roll the first time, and then they'll move that number of positions. So we'll go ahead and set our P to 0. And then we'll make a comment here. So we'll say 0 to 100 on board. And then we need to um, make our constructor. And what you can do if you so choose is we can instantiate P here and then assign P to 0 in the constructor. Okay, and then we need an assessor for our variable and a mutator, so we'll say private um, int get position, we'll just say get, and we'll return p, and private void, I'm sorry, we need, these need to be public. instance variables should be private, but the methods to use the instance variables need to be public. Public void set position, and we'll say um, int p, and we can say this.p is equal to p. All right, and then we need to be able to, um, when we move the piece, we need to be able to add to our current position. So add to player's current position. And if we look back in the player class, you see here we are, when we return the role, we are adding that role to our position. So We'll go back. This is what we're going to create right now is that position method. So let's say public boolean add, and then we want to add a number of steps. And we made the method boolean because we're either going to add steps, um, add to our position, or we're not. So each time th when we call this method, we'll need to add to the current position. So we'll have to say, um, use job, we can use Java shorthand to say p plus equals steps. And this is equivalent to p is equal to p plus steps. And then we'll need to, when we move across the board here, we'll need to check whether we've hit a ladder, which means we'll go up number of steps, or if we're farther up, if we've hit a slide, we'll go down to a current position, to an, not a current position, but a new position lower on the board. So we'll make separate methods for climbing and falling. So we'll say check climb. 
and we'll say use if climbing a ladder and we'll do one called oops we need a semicolon here and we'll do another method called check fall and used if falling or sliding down a slide and this should be chk so after we add to the steps we check if we're climbing we check if we're falling and then we need to also check if we've reached the end of the board or position 100 so because if we have we've won so if p is greater than or equal to 100 because you could be on 99 and then roll a 5 so that would give you more than 100 then we want to return let's see no we want to say just set p is equal to 100 and then we want to return true that because we have a boolean method and this means that we've actually moved or added steps to our current position I'm going to go ahead and save before I get too far in this class and I'll compile to make sure I don't have any problems and it looks like I'm missing a curly brace here so I'm going to put in some end comments so I can keep my curly braces straight Try compiling again. And then we're getting an error because we haven't built the check climb or the check fall method. Okay, so let's start with the check climb method. So we'll say private void check climb. And we can use a switch statement to check each condition that because if we look at go back and look at the board if we're on position 1 we need to go up to 38 if we're on position 4 we go up to 14 if we're at position 9 we go up to 31 etc so we can say switch and pass in p and then in case we for each case which is the bottom number we can then switch to a higher number. So we'll say case one colon and in that case then P is equal to 38 because if I'm on one I need to go up to 38. So in case two P is actually then going to be 14 I'm sorry in case four P is going to be 14. Oh, and I need semicolons and breaks after each of these because we want to get out of the switch statement if one of these cases is true. So you can go back to the board and see if I'm on 4, I'm on 14. I need to go to 14. So we can, the bottom of the ladder or the bottom square can be the case number and the upper number can be the um, setting that position value to that number. So I'm just going to go through and set each of these cases. The next one, if you look at the board, is case 9. And we'll go ahead and set P to 31. And then break out of the switch. In case, the next one after case 9 is case. 21 and P is equal to 42 and then we'll break out the next case is 28 and then P will be equal to 
84. And go check the board. Case 28. 28 goes all the way up to 84. So 84 and then break. And then we have case 36. And P is equal to 44. And then break. In case 51 is now 67 and case 71 P is 91 Case 80, P is equal to 100. And then our default, um, we'll, we'll just return nothing because he didn't climb. And then we can go ahead and print out and the case statement uh, or switch, we call it a switch. And then we'll go ahead and print out to the user what happened. So we'll say system.out.print ln you climbed up a ladder All right, so let's save and compile to make sure we don't have any mistakes so we need an equal sign there And we still haven't done check fall yet. And we'll do check fall in the next method in the next video. See you next time.